I don't think it was Ekin, no. I think it was... Shoot. I don't remember the name now. But I'm, I don't think it was. Hello, my friend. Alright, another green-black deck. Ooh! 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 Spicy! Have not seen a Sultai deck yet, that's kind of cool. It grows. Oh, nope, it doesn't. Oh, they've been both. I guess they're just looking for land. Yep, no land for the OP here. Uh, let's take the map. And then we can play map plus strike. I'm just going to strike it now, I think. I don't know what they're playing blue for other than the thieves right now, so... Thieves, I should say. They found their creatures again. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep that. Oh! I tapped two mana for field, and then I cast it. Opt. That was good. Just nummy things. Alright, well, I guess we're going to map now. <laughs> Alright. Every time I punt, I am now going to gift a sub. Okay? So, I need to buckle down. No left hand. No left hand. Gifted subs are random. Upkeep. Map. Bottom. Um, I think I'm going to draw for turn in case I hit... Pirate's Pillage, and now we'll just play out our field. Yeah, I'm actually okay running out all my lands since we have Explosion in our hand. Obviously, if we draw Pirate's Pillage, I don't have an extra card that I want to discard, but we're about to get a lot of treasures here in a second anyways. <laughs> Time to donate, chat. Kenji's about to file for bankruptcy. <laughs> Put both of those in the graveyard. Map. It's probably just worth keeping. Alright, we'll draw for turn. And I think I'm going to use both maps right now, actually, just to play around like a decay or whatever. We'll keep that. I can radical idea into... Lightning striking the Jade Light. We're just gonna kill we're just gonna burn them out actually. Two, four, six, eight, fourteen. Do I just kill them? This is ten, eleven damage. Twelve. Oh yeah, I just win. Never mind, I just win next turn. I keep saying decay, but you know what I mean. The assassin's trophy. Alright, so Radical, 15. Strike, 11. Explode for 500! Wow, 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 wow. 10, turn 10, or sorry, turn 8, explosion you for 10. Damn. I wonder if I should just change this deck into a counter burn deck and just take out the thousand year storm combo <laughs> all right we're gonna bring the lava coils i like the cannonade i like the star i'm gonna take out a pillage and a thousand year and maybe two anticipates is okay the day the fun dies kenji wants to win five percent more <laughs> blaze is too expensive you'd much just rather have a shock or lightning strike or a cheap burn spell to to combo off with the uh, um, storm okay this hand looks good I'm 
Okay, so I am going to opt here because I do want to find a third land since I'm just going to be jamming the treasure map on turn two. That's not true. If they play Branchwalker, I'll play Field. Ooh, now I want to find a Lightning Strike. Or a Lava Coil. Nice. And this doesn't this doesn't take us off a turn of treasure map since we'd have to use it on upkeep anyways. Okay, found a forest. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here, but I think getting the map online ASAP is great. Instead of just playing the field last turn. Ooh, they have no plays? No, never mind. Okay, let's find a burn spell for that. I am going to leave that on top. And now I have a new game plan. Ooh, I do need to find a land, though. Do I think Arena's going to kill MTGO? No, nope. I just poked myself in the eye. Not for a while. Not for a long time, because there are a lot of things that Magic Online offers that Arena can't. Uh, okay, so they're going to kill my map, maybe? Sure. I just want to draw a land here. Yes! Alright, chat, do they scoop to this? Let's kill their only blue source. Humph! They just found back their creatures, sure. Uh, ooh, Vivian Reed. But they bend because they need a land. Uh, so let's field and then opt main phase for land. Land pass. <laughs> My eye! I can't see! I'm blind! I think for mana efficiency's sake, and in case they do have a removal spell for my uh, Thousand Year Storm, I'm going to just Lightning Strike their Branch Walker. Now they opted to play the Hinterland Harbor here instead of Tomb, which means they could have a uh, they could have a Spell Pierce, but that doesn't seem maybe super highly likely. Did not expect opt. I, I will tell say you that much. I did not expect an op. Oh, is that all you had? Oh no, maybe they have the assassins. They do not. Okay, good. Yeah, I was not expecting opt from their deck, but all right. So what can we do here? That was a good draw. Um. So we're going to Radical Idea discarding the Expansion and then Pirate's Pillage. We're going to draw four cards, get four treasures. Anticipates a good start. Shock was also very good. All right, so now we get to... We're at two, so I think I'm actually going to Shock first. Uh, to clear their board and play it safe, and then anticipate four times for another burn spell. We also just refill our hand. And that's a win. GG. Because now we can opt. Wow. The refill is real. Let's just do this in response so I don't have to go through every opt. Got him. Uh, I can't copy Pillage if I have just one other card in my hand, it being the Expansion Explosion. Right? Because Pirate Pillage, I have to discard a card for it. So if I just have 
Pirates Pillage and Expansion, I can't, uh, I can't do that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's do it, baby. One land with an opt. It's a keep. Another green black deck. Everybody's playing green back green black these days. Uh oh. Oh, the scavenger main deck too. Well, this is unfortunate. Why are we free subbing? Because I didn't draw land? You guys are crazy. Do, 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 do. All right. Now next turn, I will anticipate hopefully finding a red source shock there, branch walker. Boo. Bin that, I imagine. I hope they keep it. Oh, nice. Oh, it's another Sultai deck. What the heck? Why is everybody playing Sultai? Now they play a Planeswalker and I cannot win. Or Doom. Doom. All right. We'll not give them any more info. Coil, coil. Cannonade and star, and then some number of negates. Cut, cut. Like the field still. Actually, no, I think we do run that. Never mind. Uh, cut some anticipate. I'm wondering if they're going to leave in their chupacabras and if I should just take out the fields. But they do block super, or like they block all their two and three drops effectively. Yeah, I mean, I might be adding another Star of Extinction to the sideboard. I think maybe we can cut one Lightning Strike. Another Anticipate. The Star seems amazing versus all the Golgari decks. Because it wipes their board and it deals with the Planeswalkers, which was a big problem with this deck previously. This might be a one-lander I mulligan, even though we do have the Opt. Because last one had more interactive spells but no I think I'm gonna ship this one this is much better uh, turn one turn two is treasure map all right we'll leave the vent no greed do you have a duress or just an elf poop no, they haven't messaged me back beyond the initial message of their that they're forwarding it to the right team. What? How dare you? Oof. Yeah, the depths of desire. <sighs> All right, well, they don't have the early creatures. I'm going to get rid of this cannonade. I'm just going to hold up the gate. Yep, was running into too many early creatures.
Oh, the damn map. I was probably just dead to that. Like, they're gonna play a Doom Whisper, and I'm gonna be like, Ugh, two for one myself, and then you get to surveil a bunch of time. The arena meta? Wait. I've seen a lot of life gain on the arena, but I haven't seen much uh, Merfolk. I'm actually okay dealing them dealing damage to self. We might actually be able to burn them out then. That's giving me a hope. That's giving me a little bit of hope. I did cut some number of strikes though, right? Yeah, I cut well, just one. That seems like a card I am going to negate. I do want them losing life, but that's also a card that just takes over the game, and if it transforms... Seems like one of those impactful cards that I want to get rid of. Hopefully that's not correct, because I think there is merit to not countering that, and just hoping that they, for some reason, like go down to 5. Oh, can't deal with that anyways. Strike. Worst case scenario, we can always lava coil our own creature for one damage. Maybe that's not even worst case scenario. If I end up lava coil coiling my field for one damage, that's probably best case scenario, because then I imagine they would be dead. Alright. I'm gonna fire it off. Cast my two shocks so I can get that extra shock. No. It's cast, not copy. Replacement for treasure maps? There's not really a good replacement for maps, no. Alright, so like expansion is a good start. Redraw that. Is there any way I can win this game still? Six, seven, eight. Nope, GG. Let's play against some control decks. Oh yeah, 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 you can try Electromancers. That's what I had beforehand. Seems like a medium keep. Uh oh, red deck. But wait, we drew the shock. Testing partner? Uh, I could bring on guests. I've been thinking about bringing on guests for the stream. It was something that we were doing, or I tried a long time ago, but just didn't uh, keep up with. It was called Friend Friday. If you're an old schooler, you might remember that. We actually had some uh, big names on Friend Friday. Coincidence, we brought on Steve Rubin for Friend Friday, and then he wins the Pro Tour. No, not coincidence. Extreme coincidence. But just let me have this. Got him. Oh yeah, the New Year's Eve with uh, Marshall and Shahar was super fun too. Oh, they must be playing the uh, Experimental Frenzy list. That was a long time ago. Um, I think I'm going to keep an opt in hand. We don't have a huge idea of what we're looking for right now since they're not doing anything and we're still at 20. I think versus the burn deck though, I, I kind of want to just wait a lot of the time. Dude, we got crushed in the PPTQ.
Oh yeah. The red deck can't beat a storm game one, unless they can kill you the turn after you play it. Yeah, let's just hold these in hand. Uh, I'm gonna take four. I'm gonna hide a high enough life total that I don't mind paying four right now. Okay. I guess it ends up being pay five, but. All right, now I'm actually gonna opt to try to guarantee a land since we didn't see one with the treasure. I, wa I wanted to hold the opt for Thousand Year Storm. Um, I don't think I need to scry here. Actually, we might as well, because the land will be useful the following turn. That's fine. Okay. So now they're going to Risk Factor Flashback. I think, again, I take the five. I go to eight. But then I died to double burn spell for four. No. You know what? You can have the cards this time. I think I give him the cards, right? Explosion! I don't know, it's risky. Because they have to invest a lot of mana for the damage, too. My, my initial instinct is just to take the four damage. Since they have the field on the battlefield. All right, you know what? I'll take it. We, we yeah, almost certainly win next turn, but okay. So shock and a, like a wizard's lightning kill me. Cycle, cycle, pass? Oh god! Oh, is this Banefire? We're fine then. I like the Banefire inclusion in those decks though. This is going to feel goddamn great. <laughs> I guess let's just do it again. Did I not draw any burn? What the heck? And we have lethal like 500 different ways, so it doesn't really matter if it's somewhat suboptimal. They're dying this turn regardless, so. I mean, nothing. I drew nothing, but I could have drawn my entire library with that nothing, so. Wait, are they waiting on me? Oh god, the, it's bugged! It's bugged! I can't click! Oh god. Well, I'm gonna reload. I vaguely remember this happening before and me not being able to to stack it, but we'll see. Hey, Azur with the 33 months, my thank you, my friend. No, no, I can't even click on anything because it's trying to get me to stack the triggers. All right. No, I can't. It won't, it's fro, it's bugged. I can't click, I can't click on this at all. I can't click on the stack at all. Oh, wait, there it goes. What the heck? 
Why did that take so long to work? What in the world? That was weird. Maybe. I'm gonna bring in a decent number of negates. I think normally you don't need these in this matchup. You're playing the mirror match? <laughs> the mirror match game one is who just can uh, goldfish faster, right? But then post board you get some you get some interaction that can mess them up. A hey, pretty Tony, 42 months, two whole years. Thanks, dude. Nah, goblins out. Too slow, Joe. Well, too frail. I shouldn't say slow. There is a PTQ finals on Sunday. Which I conveniently have open. Good thing I don't have any PTQ marks. I'm not going to have time to play the one tonight, so I have to play the one at 3 a.m.? No. We can play the 1 or 4 p.m. one or something. Try to get a mark. Well, I'm thinking about doing my 24-hour stream on um, Monday. Plus, they're doing coverage of GP Denver, aren't they? I think coverage for GP Denver will be going on. Oh, maybe there's no cover? Okay, so if there's no coverage, maybe I will stream the stream on the weekend. But yeah, 24 hour stream for charity. 24 hour stream for charity is probably on Monday or Tuesday. No, I'm not going to be able to do it any later in the day, and it's going to be bad news bears since uh, that weekend will be when the charity event actually occurs. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, if I do it Monday, then we'll be able to build the decks as well. 48 months is 4 years, 12 months in a year. Where did you learn that math? Ooh, good draw. Who told you that? What was that? Oh, Fury. Bad math in chat again. What a surprise. I wonder if they have like Phoenix in the sideboard versus me. Yeah, it's just too good to jam pillage here if we draw the uh, storm. Because again, this is, this is a lot of just gold fishing. Phoenix, okay. I'm going to play the untapped land here. Likely I'm just going to discard the steam vents to radical idea. I'm going to shock the birdie. Their hand's pretty slow, but I just need to find my combo piece. I will end up flashing back radical idea end of turn or whatever jump starting it off of the steam vent. This is Banefire. Well, X is 5 equals uncounterable. Map's not awful. So let's play map, field, pass. There's spell number one for Phoenix. You're all terrible troll. Ooh. That's a little bit tempting to counter. I think I'm going to. That seems like a good counter. They only need to cast one more instant or sorcery though to get back their phoenix. But I will happily just lightning strike it. Because they have one card left in their hand. This slows down my treasure map quite a bit, but I think that's okay. 
That's fine. So I'm just going to draw naturally for the turn. Because we might draw the storm. And if that was the case, uh, I'd rather just cast the storm this turn. Keep that. All they need is one more burn spell and a uh, another bane fire, though. They're getting close to just bane firing me out. Dig, dig, dig. There you are. Keep map. Just looking for instants or sorceries. And we have so much mana right now that I think it's correct to run out the treasure map using two treasures. Because, we, again, we just want to set up our draw. And we'll still have enough treasures to draw cards here. So, they need to burn me here end of turn and then draw another Bane Fire. No end of turn burn means they cannot just Bane Fire me out even with the land. We're looking for any cantrip. Any cantrip. Yep, I'm taking the four. I'm not going to go to one. If they flash it back, I take it. I'm sorry, I let them draw the three because they're only going to have two mana left. I think. Well, if they're passing, then we win. <laughs> Lava Axe! Alright, bottom that, upkeep, scry. I, just, I need to find a cantrip, though. If I don't find a cantrip, we can lose this. That is what you call a good one, because that's two spells. Any, yeah, any of the cantrips worked. Pretty much. Because now we can jump start for two cards. I'm not used to tapping the treasure cove just yet, because we might need it to draw, to just draw another card if we actually somehow whiff. And that should be good. All right, now we don't need the cove. Nope, I cut the Electromancers. Alright, two and one now. Can I now redeem? Uh, they haven't messaged me, so... Don't think so. It's a fine hand. Aye, just a fine hand. Get the field field online because even if we miss on drawing a land next turn, we can anticipate into one, and this might just end up doing a lot of damage. All right, another green black deck. This one with the gruesome. Nope, no response yet. Oh, Weaver of Lightning. Weaver of Lightning would be an insane sideboard card. Damn. Weaver of Lightning would be real nice. Four toughness, so it's got a big booty. But then just bing 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 bing. Don't fear the Reaper, okay? Just don't fear the Reaper. Uh we do want to draw a land next turn, so I'm anticipating. And then we are going to tap out for Pillage, so let's shock the Reaper. Gives him a 3-drop for the Gruesome, but that's okay. I still think I like discarding the Radical Idea here. I 
pass. Elspeth, or sorry, Elspeth, Vraska. Oh, the path. I've been seeing that in the decks too. Really good with the gruesome. You just bit all your creatures. Uh, wow. Actually, we are going to just burn the opponent out. At this rate, anyway. Three of the fields, yeah. I put three in the main deck. We have at three life right now. One burn spell away from lethal, correct. But cantrip's probably good enough. To put another reaper in their graveyard. I want to hold on to the lightning strike, though, just in case they have a wild growth walker. But I think I do... Consider, consider start firing off some, uh, ooh, there it is. Firing off some burn here. Okay, and they do have the gruesome in hand already, so. I'll pay the life. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Actually, I guess I wait in case I draw a thousand year storm. No, firing off one shock's okay. No, because I don't have enough mana. That might be good enough, though. This finds a burn spell. I have to lightning strike their wild growth walker. Uh, which is actually the same as just lightning striking their face once... Oh, no, they're only going to get back one Reaper. Never mind. Oh, they didn't even get back a Midnight Reaper. Oh, I guess that makes much more sense to get, like, their Jedi. Right? Never mind. I can't cast Storm because then I can't lightning strike. And if I don't lightning strike, then they're going to gain, like, 12 life. They found another wild growth walker. Eek! <laughs> Why didn't they attack there? They have another creature two drop. So much exploring going on, dude. Do I lose if they have a removal spell? I could go, go for the kill. If Pirate's Pillage found another burn spell, we would have won, but that's so risky. There's no more Radical Idea. I've already, I've already jump-started it. Alright, here we go. Gaining three is not relevant here. Not anymore. Not that the thousand year. Unless they kill it. Nah, I have to kill the Wild Growth Walker. I, I was a little bit short of lethal. I believe I was too short of lethal after the opt. Alright, so five, six, seven, fifteen. So I can block a three power creature here. Five, six, seven, fifteen, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Fungal infection doesn't kill me. Skullduggery. Okay, they gain another three life. Oh, they gain six life here. Oof. It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, I 100% shock first. That's, that is not even a question. That was a very good draw too. All right, that should, should win.
This is going to be good. We're going to do the combo again. Because after the first trigger resolves of the Pirate's Pillage, it's going to give me two more treasures. And then I get to expansion my Pirate's Pillage. I guess we'll just burn them out. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, all right, star in, coils and cannonades in. <clears throat> I don't think I need to bring in the gates here. The more green-black decks that appear in the meta, the more likely that I add more and more star of extinction in. We have not, we've 4 one but we have not 5 would We've had plenty of worse than three, two, three and three and twos. Wait, that's not true. We had an O three yesterday. We had a two three today. How many others? How many others have we had? Because for the most part, they've been three and twos. I feel like. A lot of 3 twos, two four ones. some number of 3 losses though. I think we just want to get to Star of Extinction ASAP. That is a big card. Alright, I'm going to draw naturally for the turn. I kept that. I'm going to draw naturally for the turn, hope to just draw a land. And this is where I get greedy though, because I think I cannot afford to miss land drops here. I'm going to opt and hope to hit a land, even if it's a steam vent. So we're going to strike the Jade Light Ranger, they draw their Branch Walker. They now have a 2-drop and a 3-drop in their graveyard for Menagerie. Uh, again, I am not going to treasure map on upkeep because if we hit a land, we want to pillage. Okay, unfortunate. So let's scry now. Bottom that. Try to hit a land. Oof. Okay. That's a problem. As long as we don't die in two turns, because we can still starve extinction in two turns. They might just menagerie back their two drop and three drop. That would be good enough. Like, I'm taking five here, going to nine. Uh, today. Or, yeah, last night. We're going to Menagerie. Ooh, you know what would also be an insane... God, would we just win if I hit the... Uh... God, what is it called? The pirate thing? The pirate burn spell? Okay, there's Sulphur Falls. So I shoot this, I take two, four, six, seven. All right, so we're not dead. Okay, so I'm going to pillage here, discarding idea. And now we want them to run out more random creatures. 
Scout? <laughs> You're right, it would. Find. Okay. They did get back their Chupacabra. I imagine they just run out their Jade Light here again. Folly Pass. Okay. Could also just draw Cannonade. If I draw Cannonade here, that would be insane. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, so we do have to use all three of our treasures. Oh, you're right, that wouldn't have killed that. Whew! Good thing I didn't draw Cannonade, I probably would have just fired it off and lost. <laughs> If they had an Assassin's Trophy there, would this have fizzled it? Yeah. Now they play their Jade Light. We're still in bad shape. Oh, is it only permanent? Okay, opponents. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still dead. Still very dead. I don't even know what I could draw at this point. I don't think much. Yeah, you see, we we're just a turn behind. No, because they have the Chupacabra in their hand. Damn. It was that one missed land that really wrecked us. Otherwise, I think we were okay there. Haha, <laughs> I'm bad. Thank you for that Twitch Prime. This is a uh, YOLO hand. This is just so good versus them, though. And the Radical Idea can filter out at least one of these lands for a random card. Please don't duress me. <laughs> and I'm not running the Flood of Recollection. Oh, boy. Using Flood here, or rather Anticipate here, because we're looking for specifically a 3 damage burn spell for that card. And I have to just blow it up now instead of playing map, because they could go Jade Light, which would make it a 3-5, right out of range. Yeah, I think, I think I can probably put one Flood back in the deck. Shock? Darn. All right, let's get mapping. The Menagerie is for guests only! That's probably a fine keep, because I can play it in Radical Idea, and it blocks. They kept in their Chupacabras, though, so... I guess I hope they don't have a Chupacabra here. Nice. All right. Two mana. Game three life so far. They do have a four drop, though. Flippy flippy. Hmm. It seems fine. I'm actually thinking about using the explosion on the Seeker Squire. Just because it has two uh three toughness. But I guess I'll wait till end of turn and see what they do. Because I have the uh, pirate, the fiery cannonade in the deck. Well, it requires two black. If I wait until untap, I can explosion the doom whisperer. 
guess that's the plan. We don't mind keeping the chain going. I'm going to see how much they surveil for first, because there is a very real possibility I just go smorking. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, smorkarino! They double bottom. Oh, no, they put one on top. All right. Okay. sucks. Life gain is cheat. Alright, now I think I do kill the Doom Whisperer. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This would be for seven. So they would take eight, but they're gonna presumably gain at least three more life this turn, so let's kill let's kill Mr. Doom. Well, I'm thinking if I want, like, the extra mana is relevant, because I only can play one land next turn. I think there's 0% chance they have status, but maybe. It does kill enchantments. Budget. Well, we're going to draw another red source here. If I don't draw a red source in seven cards, that's very odd. <laughs> if they have double status, yeah, they got me. All right, they are going to surveil again. Two lands in the bin. Oh, only one red source. Oh, we would have hit so much burn! I mean, we did hit so much burn, but we would have hit. Yeah. Okay, so... That walker is so huge. No, because I would have only had... I wouldn't have had enough burn. Or I wouldn't have had enough red to burn them out. Like, they're gaining so much life here. Look at this. Hlit. Hlit. I need to find Storm. That's my out. And I need to find it, like, this turn. No, I think resolving the storm goes for the win instead of just trying to wipe their board here. So I shock this first. Because I don't want to draw as many cards. Copy. And then same target as Jade Light. Four lightning strikes. Uh, they are going to gain a lot more life here again this turn. I mean, did I see any storm? Did I see any enchantment removal for them in all three of these games? I don't think so. Let's see. Strike. This would be three damage. Nine damage. Wait, three, nine, and then this would be for. 18 plus 4, uh, 30 ish, something like that. I don't think they have two mana removal now. I don't think they have three mana removal. 
They hadn't shown trophy yet. And they're halfway through their deck. I doubt I don't think they have it. What do they do? Oh sure. It, this doesn't matter. Putting copying something on the stack doesn't matter with a thousand year storm. Oh, you know what? I also have radical idea in my graveyard. Never mind. This is just an easy, easy win. All right, because we have exactly enough mana. So this is six plus nine is fifteen, plus twelve is twenty-seven, plus copy. So good, dude. <laughs> All right, going for that four and one. Notably, if we had found a pirate's pillage, that game wouldn't have been close at all, though, right? Because instead of being pinched on red, we would have just been like pirate's pillage, cast 500 spells. Deal 6,000 to you. Nice. Good hand. Any hand that has a turn 2 treasure map is <laughs> a good hand. Arg! Man, so much green-black! So much green black. No, you need land. Bin it. Bin it. Bin her. Mm. God, our sideboard is just gonna turn into four star of extinction. Hey, wait a minute. That's cheating. Frickin' cheat, dude. Well, unless they trophy, they can't... Oh, I guess they could have Vraska, too. Vraska would be annoying this turn. Yep. Ah, I can't Vraska, sucker! Now, they have Vivian Reed in hand. This is a known fact. Ooh. Okay, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna have to try to go off all in one turn. Yo, Joseph Murad! Thank you for that Twitch New Prime. Subscriber! <laughs> well, she's gonna go up to like six, right? Oh, they didn't. They didn't. Wow, 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 they stitching. Oh, so they're definitely running the menagerie, right? I've not seen this version. Damn, four mana two two. Notion rain. I think we're just gonna fire this off for three. Or if they pass, I'm gonna wait one more turn. I'm in no rush. 
Looks like they're just going to hold up Trophy. Yeah, that's my bet. They're holding up Trophy. They didn't want to play Reed. And so, presumably next turn, they're going to play Land, Vivian, Reed. Yeah. The Plaguey Moy. that on the stack. Wait a second, you're not drafting. Oh, how very astute of you. <laughs> now they pass. Yes, yes, yes. So this doesn't actually work because I need uh, instance to go off with the Thousand Year Storm if they have the trophy in hand. So I think what we actually like doing here is mapping, scrying, bottoming, and looting. Although it kind of looks like they're just f 6 <laughs> If I cast Pillage before Thousand Year Storm, yes, then I can opt twice, but that's not very exciting. Alright, I guess we win. This is nice, though, that we had so much time because they had so little pressure. Yeah, we could have done that, too. But now, I mean, we don't have to worry about it, even. I guess it's the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Sure. So that was great because they had very little pressure, so I was just able to do everything at my own pace. <laughs> we are going to bring in some negates. Still like the fields versus them. I might just end up cutting like these Firemind's research from the sideboard. We're just not playing against much control. And I've added a Bane Fire anyway, so. Right, it just cares about the number that you've cast. You don't have to have this on the battlefield for it to be relevant. Uh, Niv dies to uh, Reed. She dies to Chupacabras. I don't know. That is more for uh, enchantment removal. So people with like Conclave Tribunals, Ixalan's Bindings, or even just to bounce the Planeswalker or random spell at end of turn. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I think we're just going to be adding more and more Star of Extinctions to the sideboard, especially with as much green-black as we've been fighting against. Like, it feels like over half of the matches I've played today have been versus green-black in some variety. Ooh, find value. What did they get? Walker and a supplier. All right. I always just go with... Uh, Old school ones such as Tempest. Tempest are my favorite, but Invasion Block and stuff like that are also good. Aha! Aha! I'm gonna try to find a Lightning Coil or a Lava Strike, or Lightning Strike. Alright. Yeah, anemic beatdowns might actually get me since I don't have a way to ramp to the star. I don't have my pillage or I don't have I didn't have a map. Braska, I will counter. That I will not. Have to shock it before it gets too big, but their walker is obviously gonna get a little bit bigger. Zero. 
This is now out of burn range, save for a star. I need to, if, if we draw pillage this turn, oh baby. And take at least four now from the walker. Yuck. Oh! -y! They put that in the graveyard, though. They might have another Azoni in their hand. I know we do. But I gotta preserve some life here. I'm hoping they don't have a follow-up play. Nice. Quite late to the party. We're probably just dead in two turns to the uh, wild growth. Damn. It's probably hitting me for five this turn. If somehow they don't have a... Okay. We might have a small shot. If they don't have a uh, explore, oh, god damn it! <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, we were just one turn off. I don't think there's anything I can draw at this point. GG. Damn. All right, so maybe I need to leave in the other pirate's pillage. Also, it seemed like negate was not doing much there, huh? Could also consider bringing in bounce if the wild growth walker gets too big, but maybe not. What if I just cut the negates totally? And just bring in a strike as well to deal with the wild growth walker before it gets too big. Yeah, I think it was incorrect of me to not keep the uh, flood of recollection. I think you want one in the deck. Mission briefing wouldn't have been good there. Because I wouldn't have enough mana to do both. Yeah, I think cutting maybe the fourth anticipate for one flood of recollection is okay. Treasure map? We've thought about it, we just haven't implemented them. I'm gonna shock this before it gets too big. Mr. Rex Sage in the bin. And dress tomb tomb, or dress tomb forest. Okay. I don't think sleep's a good option. Pretty b bad versus the burn decks. Oh, we're looking fine, we're not doing much. My map! Oh, they took the strike. Make me discard a card? How dare you! In case they have another play crafter, I'm gonna hold. Oh, they're gonna kill my map, aren't they? Ooh. I think I like doing this. I was worried they were casting another duress there. Sure.
Okej. Okay. See if they keep the branch or not. This deck's really cheap. I think somebody said it was like 50 tickets. Alright, I need to find a cantrip here. Cantrip is bay. Not quite the cantrip we were looking for to start things off, but we'll take it obviously. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're doing stuff. Oh! Oh, baby! <clears throat> GG. This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.